The Ghost Event is basically the Halloween update for this year which brought us a new fruit rework, a mini Halloween event, and a new sea event. Let's take a deep dive into each of these to see how you can make the most of this surprise update. Firstly, Revive got reworked and is now called the Ghost Fruit. When you eat it, it automatically activates its passive resurrection ability, which turns you into a ghost and heals you to half health when all your health is depleted. Note that this ability can only be used once per life. Here is a showcase of the moves. The V move is pretty unique, it creates two clones of the user that attacks the nearest enemy. The clones copy the player's fighting style or any weapon you hold out and if you use a ghost fruit move with the clone spawned, it'll copy that as well. This fruit is great for sword mains because of the resurrection ability and also because of its stunning moves. The ghost event doesn't bring any major changes, it introduced cursed chests which spawn randomly on the map every 4 to 6 minutes. Upon collecting these chests, it will give you 20 to 24 bones and spawn enemies, which you can kill for 6 to 8 bones each. These bones can then be exchanged at the Death King NPC who can now be found in every sea. Here are all the Death King locations in each sea. When you talk to him, he offers a stats refund for 150 bones, a race reroll for 300 bones, and a random surprise for 50 bones. From a random surprise you can get money, fragments, the golden sun hat and bear ears accessory, 10 minutes of 2 times XP, a fire essence, a hallow essence, and fruits which was a feature removed in update 17 but is now back. The random surprise can only be purchased 10 times every 2 hours. The developers have also added a new Haunted Shipwreck Sea event, which is pretty easy to spawn, especially at night. When the event spawns, it often comes with these glowing sharks and glowing ghost ships, which spawn haunted crew members who drop ectoplasm and bones. I'm not sure if it only spawns during the night or not since I couldn't spawn it during the day, and both times I did manage to spawn it, it was at night. But I did wait here until it was daytime to get a better view of the place. In the patch notes, they said that they reduced how dark it became in danger level 6, which is a good thing since it makes it slightly easier to navigate. I couldn't find anything special about the haunted shipwreck, it's basically just a big treasure island with a bunch of chests on it. Here's a little showcase of what it looks like. These are the main additions of the 2023 Halloween update and I've left the full patch notes in the comments. Any questions you have, let me know. Other than that, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.